All right, everybody. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Alan Wake 2. Uh, we are hopping back into this game um, due to the uh, DLC coming out. So, I think it's under expansions? Yeah. Oh, so we only have Night Springs. Okay, well, we're going to play Night Springs today. We'll see what happens. Let's hop in and see what we got on deck here. So, uh, Night Springs, now available to play. Okay, great. Oh, we have three episodes, huh? All right, episode one, number one fan. Let's go. Loading into the expansion from this menu will overwrite your progress in the existing, exp existing expansion quick save slot. Sure, I don't think I've played the expansion anyway, so. Let's see what we got here. A fan. The dictionary definition of the word is an enthusiast, a fervent devotee, an abbreviation of fanatic. What comes across to an outsider as a dangerous obsession or even madness is something entirely different from the point of view of the fan herself. Mm. To be a fan is a joyous existence, one filled with the happiness that stems from knowing with utter clarity the purpose of your life. But what if that purpose could be more still? If you could be lifted out of the flock as your idol's chosen one, the only one who could decipher his secret messages. <laughs> what lengths would you go to save the object of your obsession in Night Spring? Night Springs. Uh, so we're gonna be playing as tonight's cult classic episode, number one fan. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be playing as Rose, the best pie in town. Night's Diner. Those socks with shoes. Not good. At least in my opinion. Hey, Rose, we're back. What we got going Life's on? It's a funny thing. You spend all your time wishing and hoping and dreaming for something, and then, bam! Destiny shows up at your door like a mailman with a package you were pretty sure got lost because you ordered it like six months ago. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. When your destiny has eyes like sunsets and a beard like mahogany-colored velvet, you don't really mind how it arrives. Oh. But my day didn't start off with all that excitement. It began like any other day did for this waitress slash protector of the town of Night Springs. Oh, okay. As always, Night's Diner was the hottest spot in town, so there was plenty of work to do. Tend to our customers, huh? Alrighty. Nope. The pie here is to die for. Hey, it's everyone's favorite waitress. Look who it is! Hi, everyone. Could I get another cup of that delicious special brew that only you know how to make? Of course. Who else wants a top up? Me. Right here, please. One for me, please, and thank you. Will do. Let me just grab a fresh pot. Get in here. I love the medium rare burgers here. Oh. Dispense really good advice, huh? How do I do that? Here's your coffee. How do you juggle running this diner, your bird sanctuary, and that amazing fan site for the writer you love so much? I work extremely hard. But also, I'm naturally talented. <laughs> well, heck, 
No wonder us regular folks can't keep up. I'll never be as successful as you. Mm. You won't be with that attitude. Life's not a side order of hash browns, so don't expect someone to bring it to you. Wow. That's tough, but fair. Thank you for telling me exactly what I needed to hear. No problem. <laughs> All right. Here you go. A person of your genius and grace is wasted serving coffee to us regular Joes and Joannes. <laughs> oh, I don't mind. No additional dialogue? Okay. Hot coffee. I heard your fan site for that rider was named best fan site in the world. Congratulations. Thanks. It wasn't easy. Very true. Definitely wouldn't Another be. Another cup. I would kill to have a passion like you do for that writer of yours. You two are destined for each other. <laughs> <laughs> we sure are. That's everyone's coffee. Better put this pot back. I want to give out advice, though. How do I give out advice? The pie here is to die for. Can you talk to anybody else, please? Can I go outside? No. Hmm. Can't interact. Everyone's good oh. on coffee. What do we got in here? Nothing. Damn it. Okay. Right. I loved being the very successful owner and operator of the county's most popular diner. But that was nothing compared to my grease fire of passion for the writer and his sheer literary talent and flowing hair and lips like buttery pie crust. <laughs> Hi! I need to clear the empty pie plates from the tables. Shucks. The writer lives just outside town in that mansion of his. Why don't you go talk to him? <laughs> oh, we have our own ways of talking. <laughs> I saw in the news that you saved every single kitten from that bear attack. Amazing. Thanks. Those yoga lessons really paid off. Bear attack, huh? All right. Is not Steiner going to enter the statewide pie competition this year? Of course. We're going to make this our 20th win in a row. Damn. My date last night was a total bust. You're the expert on romance. Any advice? Oh, here we go. Yes. But first, tell me everything. Long story short, she told me I dressed like a <laughs> Gym teacher. I mean, but it's what's inside that matters, right? You still need to make an effort. Oh, you still have to put in some effort. Yeah. If you don't have a jacket with elbow patches, buy one. Elbow <laughs> patches. Oh, got it. Thanks a million. <laughs> don't mention it. Okay. I want to dispense more wisdom. More knowledge. Uh. I better take these plates back to the service window. Oh. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, okay. I can I borrow optional. you? What can sure. I get you? Oh. <laughs> I need a good book recommendation. <laughs> After all, you're the town's literature buff. <gasps> oh, you have got to read the newest book in the writer's crime trilogy. Trilogy? I'll grab you a copy from the back. Ah, okay. I'm assuming that something's going to go awry when we go out back. Oh, I can go in there now. Okay. Can I go into any of these rooms? No time for that. I've got customers waiting. Ooh, we can go to the bathroom. 
Anything exciting in here? No. Hey, I can see a reflection. How exciting. Um, okay. Um... He better not crease any pages. Crease any pages, huh? Oh, I want to shut myself in there. Damn it. Two can do it. Thank you so much for taking in my six macaws. I know you have your hands full with all the other sick birds at your bird sanctuary, but if anyone can find a cure for their rare bird lupus, it's you. Yours truly, a young girl who wants to be you someday. How lovely. The only thing that hurts more than love is loving again. Love Will Hurt by America's Best Selling Writer. Death comes for everyone that doesn't, uh, that doesn't mean it's painless. Death Will Hurt by America's Best Selling Writer. A man's life is ripped away. He's out to get justice and the whole city. Will Hurt. <laughs> By America's best-selling writer. Uh... It's me. Oh, your Jesus Christ. The voice you would recognize in your sleep. I'm in danger. Please, my number one fan. You're the only one who can save me. Oh, oh my gosh. Don't worry. I'm on my way. Holy hell, that jumped My beloved the writer was in terrible danger, and I had to rescue him. The stakes had never been higher. Luckily, I kept all my accessories in the diner's kitchen. How convenient. What do we got here? Employee of the decade, in recognition of basically being the best at, like, everything. Presented to everyone's favorite waitress. <laughs> uh... What do we got here? Beat Poetry Night at Knight's Diner. Knight's Diner presents Beat Poetry Night for the literary advancement of Night Springs. Every Friday at 8pm. This sketch is hilarious. <laughs> uh, these are great. Coffee of the Year. Don't touch. Little receipt hanging up. All right, what do we got here? Is it just this stuff again? Okay. Okay, that jumped the shit out of me, by the way. Just about came out of my skin. Um, I think, what was she saying? The kitchen? Out here? Okay. I feel like this food is just, um burning. There's nobody back here cooking. There seems to be an excessive amount of ammo and stuff. Can I go in here? Ooh, I can. Oh. That would make sense. My accessories. Everything a girl needed to claim victory in the battle for love. Goddamn. My trusty 12 gauge, fully automatic. Extreme circumstances call for extreme shotguns. I, I respect Old it. Action hunting rifle with a gorgeous walnut stock. Deadly and looks good doing it. <laughs> Just like me. I was finally ready for a night out on the town <laughs> with danger. There was no time to waste. The okay. shortcut through the boatyard was the fastest way to my rider's mansion in the woods outside town. Okay. Uh. Oh, thanks everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna go save the town now. was my moment, my chance to save the rider and make him realize how much he needed me. And if that's not love, I don't know what is. <laughs> Run the diner while you're gone. We'll be way worse at it. <laughs> you gotta save literature. <laughs> you're the only one tough and graceful enough to save him. I 
was leaving my old life behind. Like a body left to sink in a lake so no one finds it. <laughs> Nothing would get between me and my future with the writer. I love the freaking music too. It's probably gonna get copyright strike copyright striked. Uh Okay. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. Did you? Okay, danger. Where are you at? Oh my god, is this actually him? Let me do some exploration here really quick. I want to see if there's anything I can interact with. Doesn't seem to be. At least not yet, anyway. Alrighty. Let's go have a chat. Now, our... who the heck is that? Oh. I knew you'd come to his rescue. The bad boy. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Um, give me one second. I want to go take a peek around. What's in here? Ooh, ammo. Lovely. Uh. Or what's this? Oh yeah, the explosion thingy. Two is painkillers. One is the rifle. Three is the shotgun. Yeah. Okay. One in three. Great. Can I go out here? No. Okay. Oh, I can walk in the water. At least partially. Um, anything around here? I think I can shoot these. Yep. For explosions. Alrighty. Alright, let's have a chat with the bad boy. Who are you? You look like a slightly less <laughs> handsome version of my writer. Oh, don't you ever compare me to that worthless hack. Sure, I may be his wild and rebellious estranged twin brother, but we can't all be perfect. <laughs> I had no idea he had a brother. To think there were two of him all this time. After today, there won't be. No more writer, no more books, no more living in his shadow. Mm -hmm. But he's your brother. But you're his brother. I'm sure you two can talk it out and realize you have so much in common. And after you change, you can move in together. <laughs> and I'll come over with popcorn for movie nights. Ooh. He had his chance for popcorn and movie nights, but he wanted to keep everything for himself. Too bad. You know what they say? If you can't join him, beat him. Hey. <laughs> What did you do to him? I locked Mr. Fancy Pants up somewhere you'll never find him. You won't get away with this. I'll stop you. Babe, I got an army of people that hate that hack almost as much as I do. <laughs> They're ready to die if it stops him from writing another crappy book. What do you got? Uh, I have a shotgun. I have a shotgun. Well, I got a... Wait, is that... That's a real shotgun? <laughs> okay, I admit that's a... I didn't expect that. <laughs> <clears throat> but it doesn't matter. You can't stop all of us. Only a monster could be blind to the poignance of my writer's books. And there is only one way to deal with monsters. 
Ah. Oh fuck. Okay, need to get back, get used to this shit again. Only a monster could be blind to the poignance of my writer's books. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, I'm really fucking bad at this. Only a monster could be blind to the poignance of my writer's books. There was only one way to deal with monsters. Don't get between me and my writer. Oh, fuck. My spinach this morning, so don't mess with me. I'll be very rude. Shitty writer! Okay, well, I just needed to, you know, push this friggin' shooting button over and over and over again. Okay. I don't think it was supposed to be that hard, but I made it that hard because I'm fucking bad. My writer's jerky twin had him locked up somewhere. A sweet, helpless prince locked in a tower. But his fan in shining armor was on her way. Luckily, one of those fingers had made a hole in the fence. <laughs> okay. 
The twins' motorcycle had left tracks in the mud. I recognized the tread pattern immediately, thanks to my famously keen perception. <laughs> the tracks would lead me right to my rider and his kidnapper. I felt like the detective from my writer's books, solving the case with my wits. All I needed now was an unlimited supply of black coffee and crippling emotional trauma caused by the untimely death of my spouse. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. More haters. All right, where are you? Oh, shit. My gun's hungry. Ooh. Get the hell away from me, man. All right, what we got in here? More healing. More bullets. Oh, I'm apparently full. Hmm. Oh, well, that was fast. Okay. All right, on to the next. Here we go. Okay, do I go up or this? I think that's the correct way. Let's go the wrong way. Oh, I guess we can't really go anywhere. Never mind. Okay. I was hoping maybe. But we can go up over here though. Is there anything? I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to upload this or if this is going to all just be copyright striked. We'll find out, I guess, when I go to upload. Car, truck blocking the way. Can't go this way. Oh. Why hadn't my writer ever told me he had a semi-evil twin brother? He must be waiting until our third or fourth date. <laughs> Surrounded by candles, <laughs> so he could reveal this vulnerable chapter uh. from the dramatic story of his emotionally troubled past. Oh, that man has more layers than a croissant. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? Oh my god, there's a lot of reading. All the tears of all the angels in heaven were falling over this city. She wore the rain like a funeral shroud. She was in a sad state, this city of mine. Oh, wait. She was in sad state, this city of mine. But she was still mine, the filthy prison I called home. I was here for a reason. Joe Bullets Capone. He was inside, drinking champagne and throwing around his dirty money while I stood in the rain, smoking a soggy cigarette. But that didn't matter. The only thing that mattered was I knew Bullets had a bad night coming his way, and he had no clue. He made me wait for it, though. My pack of cigarettes was long gone by the time Bullets staggered out the back door. I detach. I just lost my place because I'm bad at reading. Uh, I detached myself from the shadows, stepped up right beside that pathetic excuse of a man. Long time Joe. Bullets looked up, his booze-soaked grin 
His booze-soaked grin twisted into something less friendly. You. He reached for the pistol under his jacket, a six-shooter with slugs big as my cigarette stubs. I've done my homework. He barely had the piece out of its holster before I was on him. I wrestled it out of his hands, tossed it behind a dumpster. Bullets didn't like that. Gave me one right in the gut. Wind rushed out of my lungs like a soul leaving a body. Through my wheezing, I could make out the slap of boots against water. Bullets was legging it. Uh, had to get after him. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, I need to read this with my controller. Sorry, everybody. Uh, da, 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 da. He... Uh, I had to go after him. Couldn't lose him. Not when I was so close. He had info I needed. The address of the last stop for this train called Revenge. So I sucked in whatever air I could could and took off after him through the twisting maze of alleyways two rats but only one cheese i pulled out my revolver i was playing for keeps don't make this hard joe i caught up to him as he was dropping down the other side of a chain link fence he sneered teeth like rows of gray tombstones he thought he was escaping he thought he was safe my body slammed against the fence like a bird against a window i clutched the thin metal scrambled over it the jagged ends of wire ripping through the sleeves of my leather coat and biting into skin the pain was welcome I dropped down in the alley and ran like a panther. At every blind corner, I expected a trash can lid to the face. None came. Maybe bullets hadn't liked what he saw in my eyes as I climbed that fence. I bet he wasn't smiling now. Then I had him, a trapped rat, trying and failing to wrench a locked door off its hinges. I leveled my gun at him. You know what I want, Joe? Bullets let, let go of the door handle, hands as, hands as up as they'd go, beseeching a higher power not to cast him down. Come on, man. Ain't, got, ain't gonna bring your wife back. Can't hurt to try. Talk. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Sure. Bullets lunged for his ankle. A crack of lightning from my hand and he was down in the gutter, clenching his belly. I walked over, calm as, a, uh, as snow. I stood over him, watched his putrid blood mingle with the rivers of rainwater. You talk, I call an ambulance. His words were having a hard time getting through the pain. You're insane, man. Insane! I raised my gun level with his eyes. Try again. Okay, okay, okay. You want the big man, yeah? I know where you can find him. Blood pounded in my ears like war drums. All the killing, the sleepless nights, the booze, the countless cigarettes I smoked while ghosts swirled around me. It was all for this. The drums got louder. Bullets caught his breath, straining against the pain. Then he spilled his guts. My number one fan. If I don't make it, then I just want you to know that... No, I can't say it. Curse my cripplingly sensitive artistic nature. I left the alley, told a writer on the curb, told a waiter on the curb that a guy had been shot. Didn't care what he did with the information. I had what I needed. Interesting. All right. Well, sorry for my shitty reading there, but uh, it is what it is, I guess. The motorcycle tracks ended at a cabin. Was my rider inside? Hello? Hello? Is anyone gonna rescue this poor little rider? Hello? <laughs> Is anybody there? I'm just a frail rider and I require aid. <laughs> He's inside. Is he though? Uh, this is hilarious. Give me some more bullets. I can't pick them up. Damn it. All right. I'm here. I've come to save you. Oh, joy. We can finally be together and sit through beat poetry readings and drink $18 cocktails and have high tea with the queen. Wait a minute. My rider only drinks coffee. Two sugars, no milk. I keep all the mugs. Okay. No more tricks. I'll be waiting upstairs. <laughs> um, wish I had a freaking flashlight. Oh, okay, we can go outside. All 
there anything actually out here, though? No. Nope. Alright, let's head upstairs, I guess. Ooh, wait, we can watch this, can't we? No? Running with wolves? Seems like a dangerous hobby. <laughs> no, come on. Becoming the Alpha. Everything you need to know to lead your wolf pack like a true alpha. By TJ Wolf. Nothing like some good old uh, manly man stuff, huh? Okay, this is very dark in here. I lied when I said there were no more tricks. Ooh, you're starting to peeve me off, mister. Where is my writer? I'm just having a little fun. Let's chat down at the beach. It's just out the back. First, he kidnaps my writer. Then he calls him a tea drinker? <laughs> he had crossed the line. I was going to go to that beach and give this jerk the scolding of a lifetime. All right, not before we read this, though. Torture ideas for hack brother. Car battery, somewhat potential. Pulling fingernails, eh, too messy. The bell, where do I get a bell? Blunt spoon, nice and simple. Dismantle typewriters, A plus psychological damage. Gasoline or fire, eh, fire might burn the my cabin down. He was down at the beach. Maybe overcomplicating this? <laughs> Uh, yeah, probably just a little bit. Um, how the fuck do I get out of here? I can't see a goddamn thing. Jesus. It's like so dark. Am I like missing? Do I have, do I have a, a friggin' controls? Flashlight. Z. I don't have a flashlight, though. Damn it. Hm. I guess writing doesn't run in the family. Brothers, the moon can only shine when the sun is gone. The night can only come when the day is done. Can the sea ever meet the ocean? I don't know. Jesus. Can't I have to get see down to that beach and get my rider back. Friggin' thing. Hello? Oh, are you serious right now? Alright, let's go down to the beach. Not this beach. This beach. Okay. So back around to where we came from. Got it. Where the bike was parked. Ooh. More stuff I can't pick up. Hey, bad boy. What you got to say? Hey. Me and my bike were just enjoying the view. Where is my writer? Yeah, exactly. What do you even see in that crybaby? He's boring, he dresses like a nerd, Hush he's... your mouth! <laughs> he is a stylish intellectual who is in touch with his feelings. You're starting to cramp my style, babe. And I'm not telling you where he is. Hmm. Should I say why are you doing... Yeah. <gasps> what did he ever do to you? I, uh, already told you that? At the boatyard, <laughs> I feel overshadowed by success, like he's taking everything I can compete. Oh, right. <laughs> I remember now. It's a self-confidence thing. Uh, w well, it's a bit more complicated than that. <laughs> you are going to tell me where he is or else. Or else what, babe? 
You asked for it. <laughs> you are rude. You have no manners. Your too cool to care attitude is attractive initially, but drives people away after they realize you're emotionally incapable of letting your walls down to reveal that you are a vulnerable human being just like everybody else. You are trying way too hard with that outfit. <laughs> no, stop. I don't like being seen. <laughs> Listen, I never had your precious writer. I was just keeping you distracted while my army of haters storms his mansion. Now the love of your life is doomed. Doomed! Oh, great. <laughs> he tricked me, even with my famously keen perception. Ooh. Son of a bitch. Fucking die, damn it. Holy hell. I had to get to my rider's mansion as fast as my chunky kitten heels would take me. Out of bullets. Should I run back here and grab some bullets? Why not? They're available. Might as well replenish. Oh, I can't. God damn it. I'm sure we'll have plenty of bullets anyway. I mean, I've got 300, so. <laughs> and they don't seem to take too many bullets to kill overall. Reload this so that it's ready. My gun's hungry. Okay, we gotta go back this way then. Get out of my face. I love the freaking music. Alright. I guess... Oh, it's gonna be opened up to go up the other way now, I guess. Bitch. Okay. Guess that's over with. Okay, they give you, like, plenty of stuff, I guess, overall. So I might as well just... Oh. Okay, cutscene. Oh. I knew you, my number one fan. <laughs> oh, my fucking never God. fall victim to my twisted brother's lies. His hatred for me is as inexplicable as the sunrise. And just as fiery. But I knew your heart would never waver. You're the only one who can save me. And we're covered in blood. <laughs> I believe in you. Okay. Interesting. My writer believed in me. We 
were kindred spirits. <laughs> we fit together like a bicycle chain and that spiky wheel thing the chain fits into. We were connected by love and destiny. He was meant to be mine, always and forever. There was no time to lose. I was the only one who could save the writer and the very soul of literature from these evil haters. <laughs> The fate of all art rested on my shoulders. The stakes had never been higher. <laughs> oh, is there... I forget where this is, or what place this is. Oh, now you gotta talk to him again. I have to stop you myself, I will. Unlike him, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. Oh, Jesus. Boss. Okay. I don't know how to dodge those yet. Um I guess I can try tossing a bomb at him. If I have to stop you myself, I will. Unlike him, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. <laughs> Okay. God damn, these friggin' fights are insane. Okay. I'm assuming I don't need any of that shit. Let's just go in. Ryder, I'm here. Ellen. Finish you off? Okay. Oh, I can't. Damn it. Okay. Can I not go in here? What? Oh. I'm not 
going to kill you? You're my darling writer's brother. <laughs> you really do love him, huh? I guess I never even had a chance. No. no I didn't. was just jealous of his talent. His money. His velvety hair. But mostly... That he's got the love of somebody as amazing as you. <laughs> Are we amazing, though? I feel like... Oh, you silly werewolf. <laughs> you could have all those things, too. You just need to stop wanting to be him and start wanting to be you. Your mm. words have shown me that it wasn't my brother I hated. It was myself. Oh, what have I done? Those haters will tear him apart and it's all my fault. Please, go save him. Oh, I intend to. <laughs> Reach the top floor of the mansion. Okay. My spinach this morning, so don't mess with me. Did someone order a reckoning? A reiner! <laughs> oh, Me and my Damn. I really wish I had a flashlight. I know I'm gonna I'm gonna sound like a freaking broken record there, but All right, up we go. Are his books meant to be trash? I just keep missing. Holy hell, I'm bad. Unoriginal garbage. Too heavy on the map. How did he publish? I can't write a happy story. Because we don't want happy stories, damn it. Fuck that up. Uh. Oh, I know. Okay, where this is where Ati used to be. That writer isn't going to kiss himself. <laughs> I mean, Ooh, what do we got in here? Save himself. I mean, it would be a little bit difficult to kiss yourself. Yeah. Uh. Anyway, hair slash beard regimen twice a week. Wash thoroughly with cold water. Gently pat dry with high thread count towel. Brush three times with honeycomb. Bought locally at the farmers market. Apply shampoo to dry hair. Rinse with cold water. Gently pat dry with high thread count towel. Condition often. General rules. Never wear hats. Once a month, rub three mixed eggs, bought locally at the farmer's market, into damp hair, scalp, and beard. Avoid chlorine, heat, and inexperienced barbers. Sounds like solid, you know, advice overall. I, uh, I can't stand having a beard. Um, it drives me absolutely insane. I have tried it. I don't have time to admire my writer's taste and decor. Uh, yes, we do. Excuse me, girl. No. We're doing what I want. Ideas for next book. Inventive murder weapons. Stapler. Lawn gnome. Swordfish. Philosophy. Escalate the crime. Plunge the depths of humanity's darkness. A murder religion. Hero's motivation. A, riv uh, a rival private eye. His wife returns from the dead, only to be killed a second time. Too much? Not enough? A waitress character who is intelligent, sophisticated, and good with a weapon. Smells like cinnamon and gunpowder. <laughs> okay. In we go to this lovely little door. This used to be Ati's room. Cutscene? Hey, Alan! We're here to save you. And there 
he was. Hey. After all the fighting, we were finally alone. <laughs> together. <laughs> uh. Our love was written in the stars. And so we danced like two spinning planets that would eventually crash into each other in a dazzling display of flames and rocks and other planet stuff. He told me all the sweet things I'd been waiting a lifetime to hear. <laughs> I saw myself reflected in his eyes. I would always be at his side to inspire and protect him. <laughs> he needed me now and forever. After all, I am his number one fan. <laughs> Oh, God. What a fantastic it's little thing. And the object of her joy come together against the world trying to keep them apart. A happy ending for some. Mm. But his happiness, like beauty, all in the eye of the beholder. Where is the line between fandom and fixation? Mm. One can never tell in Night Springs. Uh, what a fantastic little... Okay, what if I, this is a, it's a cool song. It's not really my vibe overall, but I like it though. It's cool. Not something I would listen to on the regular, but I'm gonna have to mute this for you, unfortunately. But What a fantastic little song. That's great. Okay. Well, we'll end the episode here since we uh yeah, it's had about an hour. That's good enough. Uh we will pick back up in just a second. I will play through the second little uh episode called North Star, which I have no idea who that's going to be. Time Breaker, I think, is going to be the like control one with where we play as Jesse. That's gonna be my guess. My guess. My guess. My guess. Um, North Star. I don't know who we're gonna play as this North Star. Guess we'll find out when we play it next. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. This was fantastic. But uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.